Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be sorry for our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are meek and humble of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are slow to anger and rich in kindness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your love endures forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel set out from Elim and came into the desert of Sin, which is between Elim and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month after their departure from the land of Egypt. Here in the desert, the whole assembly of the children of Israel 
grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The children of Israel said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread? But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, however, when they prepare what they bring in, let it be twice as much as they gather on the other days. Then Moses said to Aaron, Tell the whole congregation of the children of Israel, Present yourselves before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. When Aaron announced this to the whole assembly of the children of Israel, they turned toward the desert, and lo, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the grumbling of the children of Israel. Tell them, in the evening twilight you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a dew lay all about the camp, and when the dew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the children of Israel asked one another, What is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. They tempted God in their hearts by demanding the food they craved. Yes, they spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the desert? The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Yet he commanded the skies above, and the doors of heaven be opened. He rained manna upon them for food, and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels, food he sent them in abundance. He stirred up the east wind in the heavens, and by his power brought on the south wind. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. And he rained meat upon them like dust, and like the sand of the sea winged fowl, which fell in the midst of their camp round about their nets. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Please all stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him 
that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, patience is one of the important attributes of God. Our God is patient. And this is proven to us by our readings today. In our first reading, we continue to hear the story of the journey of the Israelites in the desert after they were liberated from slavery in Egypt and after crossing the Red Sea the Israelites traveled in the desert when the Israelites were liberated from Egypt they were so happy because at last, they are no longer slaves. But after two months of journeying in the desert, in our first reading today, we heard the Israelites complaining to God because of hunger. They missed their comfortable and familiar life in Egypt. And so they told Moses, it is better for us to be slaves in Egypt. At least in Egypt we have food. We will not die of hunger. But here in the desert, we are free. But we will die of hunger because there is no food. Mabuti pang maging alipin na may pagkain kaysa malaya na wala namang makain. Kaya sana hinayaan na lang tayong maging alipin sa Egypto. But God, in all patience, listened to the grumbling of the Israelites. Hindi sinisi o sinumbatan ng Diyos ang kanyang bayan. Hindi sinabi ng Diyos sa kanila, eh di sige, Bumalik kayo at magpakaalipin. In all patience, God provided food for His people. In the evening, there was meat. In the morning, there was bread. The Israelites did not have to work for food. Food came down from heaven for them. And so their food, the food that they eat every day, is a sign of God's patience toward His people. In our gospel today, we heard the familiar parable of Jesus about the sower. This sower sowed seeds on different kinds of soils. We will wonder 
if this sower really knows how to sow. Dahil kung marunong talaga siyang magtanim, bago siya maghasik, pipiliin niya kung saan siya magtatanim. Because if he will just sow in any place, then the seeds might be wasted. The seeds that fell on the path did not even had the chance to grow because there was no soil. The seeds that fell on rocky ground grew a little and then it withered. The seed that fell on thorny bush were choked by the bush. But only the seed that fell on the rich and fertile soil grew and bore much fruit. Here, my dear brothers and sisters, we could see how patient God is. This sower is God who sows seeds of His blessings to us even if we are not always good soil. Maghahasik ang Diyos ng binhi. Magbibigay ang Diyos ng biyaya kahit na hindi tayo karapat dapat sa mga ito. Because God is patient. And God hopes that despite our unworthiness, despite our being not good soils, we might bear fruit even just a few. Ang pagpapasensya ng Diyos sa atin. Hindi niya hinihintay na tayo'y maging mabuting lupa, maging karapat dapat para bigyan ng kanyang biyaya at para kanyang mahalin. Even if we are not yet good soil, God will continue to bless us and to love us because He is patient. My dear brothers and sisters, our God is a patient God. He is slow to anger. He is rich in kindness. But how about you? Are you patient? Or do you easily get, get irritated? Mahaba ba ang iyong pasensya sa iyong kapwa? O palagi mong sinasabing, ubus na ubus na ang pasensya ko? Are you patient with yourself? Patience, my dear brothers and sisters, is one grace that we need to ask God every single day. Let us ask God for the grace to be patient like Him. Because patience, or the lack of it, reveals who we really are. Patience, or the lack of it, shows our true character. Ipinapakita natin kung sino talaga tayo ang ating tunay na kulay, ang ating tunay na pagkatao at ugali sa ating kakayahan o sa ating kakulangan ng pasensya. Let us pray for the grace of patience. Let us ask God to help us to be patient with one another and with ourselves, just like Him who has always been patient with us. Please stand. Let us tell God of our desire to be a rich harvest on earth as we reflect on some of the poor soil in our lives as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may produce a rich harvest in the dedicated and committed lives of her ministers. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That a harvest of justice may spring from the selfless labors of government officials, legislators, and judges. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That farmers and those who work in the field may reap the fruits of their labor and contribute to the welfare of the community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those beset by life's misfortunes may be consoled by the harvest of encouragement from their community and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may come to their everlasting home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who requested our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Loving Father, help us to bring to harvest whatever seeds you have already sown in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our Healing Rosary for the World tonight, which will be hosted by the parish of St. Mary Magdalene in Amadeo, Cavite. This is in preparation for the feast of St. Mary Magdalene, which we will celebrate tomorrow. And so let us gather as one family and as one community tonight at 9 o'clock and invoke the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary for ourselves, for our family, and for the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Late mother, so you do me plead to ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave. Amen. Uh -huh.